Uh, hello, hello. Just a My name interrupter. Yes, yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Garrick, and tonight we're sampling John Company Second Edition uh, by Cole Worley and Worley Gig Games. We are playing the 1813 post Monopoly scenario, which is the weird and wild one that nobody has played. So there we go. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> uh, joining me today are Bot Bot. Hello, hello. Lily. Howdy, howdy. Andrew. Hello. Uh, chat is popping. Hello, everyone. Uh, so, there have been no rules updates, as far as I'm aware, since last week. So we can pretty much just jump right into it. Uh, I'll just briefly highlight a couple details about 1813 that might be interesting. Uh, the company starts deregulated, so we can start private firms. And on top of that, uh, there is a starting firm. John has one. Lucky him. As far as we can tell, it starts with no money or debt or value or anything. So it's, uh, it's rocking. Uh, in addition, we start with centralized command and governor general. So, oh, cool. Lee Hook uh, says correct. So good to know. Uh, we start with centralized command and governor general, which means we have the commander in chief and governor general uh, offices instead of military affairs and director of trade. Uh, and shares are worth 2 VP or negative 2 VP instead of the normal 1 or <laughs> negative 1. Um, oh, and superintendent of trade in China also is apparently a thing. So we have all... Yes, I am. <laughs> we, we may actually want to, if you know it, Garrick, have a little explanation of what... Uh... The superintendent does because we have literally never had it happen in all of our plays. Have we? Other than first edition. Is Correct. It, it's never happened in any of our streams. Nope. Nope. Oh, it must have happened also, in. I think the rules have changed since, like. Yeah, they. Know, the dates of your. I I not too long ago saw it in a game, uh, but that must have been when I was playing with uh, dads on a map. So I let me uh pull up the rules. Superintendent of Trade in China, blah, 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 blah. Uh, can only contain ships. Ships can be sent there by the shipping office or the director of trade as if it were a sea zone, but they count as if they're in the eastern sea zone for storms, expenses, events, and laws. It acts after the president of Bengal, which is why you have that little arrow right there. Very uh, beautiful graphic design, Cole. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> to trade with China, you make a check, rolling one die for each ship that you have in the office's box. You can only attempt the check once, and upon a success, you will increase the company balance by four pounds for each opium icon in a company-controlled region. Opium icons being these flower, oh, ci flower circles. Yeah, that's what those are for. Right there. Yep, that's what those are for. Uh, and then you, the, the superintendent, will take one pound from the bank for each opium icon in controlled regions. So that's your little bit off the top. And what's the dice pool again? It's one one per ship. Oh, right. Duh. OK, yeah. I heard that and did not process it. It's fine. It's good to ask. <laughs> so I didn't process though, most of that. <laughs> when I read that, it said the, the number of opium icons in a territory the company controls, which seemed to suggest that you pick a territory, and that's the one. But the way that you said it and the way that the example oh, right. demonstrates it um, makes it sound like you basically collect money for all the opium icons that are controlled. It's okay. all according to Lee Hook. Okay. All right. Unban Lee. <laughs> unban Lee. <laughs> I was going to say. I had, I had banned Lee earlier, but now unban. We, we, we should never ban <laughs> a, a number of people who we're, we're, consistently we're not are yeah, terrible yeah, rules. We're not banning people. I, it's all jokes. I didn't like that my I didn't like that my firm had nothing. It's all goofs and gags. Um, goofs and gags. Head desk dev saying that when the firm is buying ships from the company, uh, we're meant to be giving the money to shipping. You know, head desk dev. I know that used to be in the rule book. I didn't see it in in the rule book that i was reading off of but i will take a look at that while we get started and see if i just missed it because that is wholly possible it is wholly possible uh 
<laughs> it also would have been like seven pounds into shipping. We bought a lot of boats. Lee Hook says it's still there, so I I almost definitely just missed it then. Uh, let's go ahead and get this train rolling then. I think that's everything I should go over at the start of 18. One, other, uh, one other pause here. Um, should I have a shareholder in my private firm? Ah, yes, you definitely should, because I okay. otherwise you wouldn't no one would be controlling that firm. It wouldn't make sense. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Page 37. Page 37. That's firms. It makes sense. It'd be the right place for it. Ah, last sentence. Any money spent should be added to the shipping office's treasury. Look at that. We played on hard mode. Uh, thank you, Head Desk Dev and Lee Hook for, for helping me there. That is entirely my mistake. Putting an apostrophe next to that game. Uh, uh, you're, you're putting an <laughs> asterisk. Apostrophe? <laughs> <laughs> apostrophe, whatever. But we're putting apostrophes I'm... now. Oh, yeah, it's that's apostrophes serious. now. That is this is serious <laughs> business. <laughs> All right, we're, now we're starting for real. This is getting nonsense. Uh, family phase, first Ready? up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> family phase, I am up first. Um... Oh my, oh my. We seem to have a disturbing lack of writers, you know, besides these beautiful lugs. Uh... <laughs> oh, dear God. <laughs> An ampersand next to this. Ampersand. <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh, my goodness. This is my favorite running gag now. Um... <laughs> Oh boy. What's the, what's the minimum amount of time that needs to pass before we can make the next joke? Uh, negative four seconds. I was just going to say, ne some, some amount of negative time. <laughs> <laughs> You're overdue already, John. Get it going. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and enlist a writer, and we will throw one into... I don't like that elephant in Madras. We'll throw it in Bombay. <laughs> and that's my family action. Hmm. Garrick, is there really no company debt in this scenario? It, it... Well, because probably deregulation just happened, so everything got reset. Oh, that makes sense. That's that's my guess. Uh, again, the scripting well, broke the when I gets halved. All right, Lee Hook says well, yes. Could have only been at one. They could have been good at running uh, the company before true. we got here. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> as strange oh, as this fine. might, as strange as this might seem, having my own firm but being really un undeveloped, I'm going to not writer. Which one? This one. Buy a share. There's Buy no. Share. Sh that's why. That's actually literally why I asked about the debt because uh, there's oh. no. This won't actually enter the court of directors because there's no debt to purchase. So it'll just uh. sit there until next round. Oops, that's not an arrow I meant to put. In I mean, you can still do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's true. It's you just, can still do it. There's gonna be a delay. Gonna, yeah, exactly. Um, and Garrick could do something really hilarious and just take no <laughs> death this turn. <laughs> that would be so funny. Um, I think... Oh, apparently no shares are allowed without debt at all. So it's like not even allowed. No, I don't think that's what he's saying. I, yeah, I think, I think Lee just he's saying means what we saying, said. Think, yeah, because he's saying oh, just okay. a wasted action. Oh, yeah. No, you're right, you're right. Because otherwise, that would that would make the the ability for the, the piece to slide to the end pointless, you know. That is. Yeah, uh, Lee was yep. agreeing. Yep. I'm a uh, officer in training. It's not where your opportunity yeah. token says. Yes, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. I can do two things. I can enlist or I can enlist because I'm broke. I cannot do anything else. 
So which way am I enlisting? Let's, uh, I'm gonna enlist a writer. And let's go over to Bengal. Um, I'm going to do an officer. I cannot believe it. Commander in chief enlisted an officer. Okay. <laughs> Firm's phase. There's a commander in chief. Damn it. <laughs> Does that change anything, John? Uh, a little bit because I was, I was thinking I would be able to make some more, make some money by, but by taking on uh, an invasion. But without the commander, I feel like it. Well, it's. I think it's still ludic. I think it's ludicrous. It's still <laughs> lucrative. <laughs> it's. It's still lucrative. <laughs> With with officers, <laughs> I think I'm fine with that. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, you know, there's there's still money to be made. You just don't have any control over making the money. <laughs> but that's why I have you, Drew. Exactly. And you know, if I ever, if this guy ever gets retired, what do you, what do you say? Here's what we do: you join my my firm. And then we we run the military of this company for our own gain. That actually does sound like kind of a great idea. Um, you just have to turn in your... I was going to say, do I want to just dump my share? It feels like a smart thing. Um... Yeah, so so John, we'll remind you. You can use your own share right now to add five bucks to the to the firm. Yeah, correct. Well, and I I think I think five isn't very much. So no, I, between no. the two of us, though, then that makes a company or a firm that could potentially compete like immediately. Yeah, absolutely. I just wanted to remind John. Uh, he does have effectively five bucks of his own. When yeah. does that take place? This is the time to do it during We're, right now during oh, the firm's phase. During the firm's phase. That's yeah. Um. I yeah I'm going to buy I'm gonna do we do this in order no this it's, is a it's super free yeah it's super free form. You want. okay <clears throat> so I'm taking this nope not to shareholders it just goes back to your yeah, family it just goes back to here and then you get five there <gasps> um yeah I will I will join you uh, uh, John I will leave the East India Company um oh yeah that yeah. The money needs to go into London, right? Okay. Yeah, I thought so. I just wanted to check the board to remind myself. And then, yeah, yeah we need to advance debt. Do. Yep. Um. Yeah, John, I'll join you because that gives the firm ten, which is enough to like buy a couple ships and then run, uh, right away. Which is, I mean, it's not going to be a really lucrative thing yet, but it'll at least start making it some money. Assuming you'll. Let me join you. Maybe oh, yeah. You share, obviously. Yeah. Cool. Let's get out of here. Well, Drew, what if what if I can convince you Who not to join? <laughs> oh, oh, I like this. <laughs> <laughs> my, my ears are open. <laughs> what would it take to keep you on the side of the company? Um, I mean, do you have an offer? Well, I want to know what your your ballpark estimate is before we haggle. Uh, I, have, I think well, I'm going to make you. I want to. I want to interject, <laughs> and I want to say that no Garrick, the intention is to keep the company strong and making money, so that we can use the military to fatten our own pockets. So we don't have any intention of failing the company. I this still is... am not entirely comfortable with how much presence Drew has in the company if he's about to lose his. Minority stake and I own the incentive to yeah. have the company do well. Yeah, exactly. The, well, and that's why I'm tempted because it's kind of a really interesting set of pressures. Right. And as like. someone who's heavily invested, I am yeah, exactly. saying, what can I do to make you not do this? Um, gosh, I. Uh, can I trade you a prize? Hmm. You want my prize? <laughs> Do I want your prize? That's right. I forget you can trade prizes. Can you? That's what I'm trying to remember. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's just a piece. Um, 
negotiation. You cannot want... you cannot transfer pieces on prizes. Oh, okay. Sad. That does kind of make sense because it'd be a useless rule because no one would ever do it. I mean, I know you just offered, but it seemed like it was a half joke and also not a great idea. It it I loved the idea, but uh... <laughs> <laughs> I would take a prestige card and your two or less. And my two or less. Uh, what's the the extent of this deal? This is like, a uh, this is a long standing. You're not going to join the firm. Not just uh, you know you're off the hook for oh, a round, right? Sheesh. Uh, That's a bad oh, deal. Well, That's a bad yeah, deal. See, then it go, then it feels like it's even more expensive. <laughs> well, this Gary, is already... You have to give him. You have to give him something every round for him to stay there for that round. Uh, uh, <laughs> well, Drew two well, just, What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> i guess i just uh i mean i find this really intriguing and i want to like push the system a little bit i'm super All right. excited um, to see drew retire immediately from everything yeah that would be really hilarious <laughs> so, so i guess like i'm really excited about this this offer potentially but i just don't know like a firm is potentially worth a lot uh, uh all right Count, so counter offer counter offer compensate for that counter okay. offer uh john i will invest twice in your company for the same stake <laughs> that you were promising drew <laughs> but but you know you want me instead well i mean it sounds like garrick is willing to invest and then i can also invest and we can all just have a big little uh, well a little party a big party in the uh i don't know how much i'd agree to letting drew in if we were to do this i mean i'd be contributing ten dollars to two investments i think the, the real firm. question is Garrick, would we should just go off on our own you and me <laughs> Yeah, we'll, we'll just go off on our own. They can deal with it. Don't have to argue with them. Let's you know, I'm, I'm on board with this. <laughs> Garrick's not really making any compelling offers, so I think I'm in, John. Uh, well, I, mean, I, made, I made a compelling Garrick, offer to John. Garrick is saying ten basically 10 pounds for the same stake. Uh, that's true. But you the can also the get problem is, is pounds after part, that. Part of the reason that I wanted Drew... Is because right, of all because the, of the military in the company. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I feel, there's some synergy I, there for sure. Lily, you want to form a firm? <laughs> <laughs> you floated it. Weird. I'm 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 willing to do it. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I'm down. Yeah. Um, so I also about, wish the okay, firms so... had names, Gorky. You're right. <laughs> uh, so, um, I definitely do not know. Well, John, what the heck? <laughs> yeah, you want to now? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Well, you can you can either flip a workshop. Or remove a family member from the court, Lily, <clears throat> and this will okay. this will create the firm. Then I will point out, Lily, that Garrick is getting a much better deal because you have to flip workshops, which is a VP and a money loss because the backside. Well, or, or I could just take it out of the court of directors. Well, yeah, that's, but that's, that's still well, an option. assuming you want to, you have to do something to open the firm at all. Understood. I'm still down for it. Well, I'm assuming you're going to want to flip at least one workshop to put money into the firm. Well, what I'm trying uh, to say is well, you should make you... dump his shares to put money into the firm. Well, well that <laughs> was the losing whole... your workshops. That was the whole thing. I thought it was like Garrick, you were getting in on this with me to like. Yes, yes. Like I'm, I'm willing to do this. I'm just saying we might want more than ten bucks because we're going to get ten from from these. Mm -hmm. Um, because we don't get any money for your initial formation. That's all. Understood. Understood. Uh huh. Okay. So wait, why did? 
Okay. Um. John has ten because he how... he had his own that he removed from the quarter directors to invest separate of forming the firm. I see. I see. He started with the form, the form firms. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Okay. It was a firmly to... formed firm. I'm Correct. trying. I'm trying to think of how the money gets spent. I guess more than anything is what I'm. Well, in my brain is going on right now. First, we need to purchase ships, and then we need right. to spend money bidding on uh, sailing priority in order to make money. Remember how last game Drew right. was having to secretly determine a certain amount of money to put into his strategy bid, and then we secretly revealed it and determined uh, based I just on... remember the directional cardinal direction thing. I don't remember the money part, so no. Gotcha. <laughs> well, he would, okay. he would secretly invest a certain amount of money, and then when the time came, he would spend that money to roll, and the number of successes determined his priority before or after the company and or other firms. Mm. This seems really complicated. It's, it's not complicated. We just need money. That's, that's what it comes down to. <laughs> I think the hard part for me is like, Drew is kind of right in the respect of this is getting rid of some of my income immediately, which I'm not totally thrilled with. You're trading one form it. of income for another. I would make, make Eric put both of his shares in. and only He's get going to. I, I'm already putting both in, Drew. He's, get he's out of here! Both in. Uh, it's already <laughs> happening. Okay, once again, this does not go into shareholders. Him, You're just... Oh, you only give him one share for it, essentially. Like, you put 10 into the company, You'll he only gets one share, so it's 50-50, and then you don't Drew, have to flip a workshop. Drew, we're both putting two investments in. Yeah, that's why I'm saying Lily could probably save an investment, but also keep the ratio better because she took more of a risk than you. Two investments, Lily? I'm very confused. I'm really confused. <laughs> this is why I was trying to shut Drew up because he's going to confuse you. I don't know what I'm doing. So, like, you guys are really overwhelming me. Uh, oh, I have no idea what I'm doing either, so don't worry. I'm I'm literally reading the firm rules as we speak, so keep going. All right, I will continue panicking. <laughs> Prepare to panic. <sighs> Do you want an overview of how firms work? No, I, I understand it on like a high level. I just don't understand what's happening. So... What's what's happening is so, Drew doesn't like what we're doing, and he's trying to sow discontent well, between I, us. I, 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 <laughs> no, I think you should totally form the firm. <laughs> I, I think <laughs> my brain is like if because if 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 you have two shareholders in the company, wouldn't it be yours at that point then? Yes, exactly. No, I'm not asking for two shares. I'm doing two investments. Okay. Remember, investments are not okay. shares. Okay. That's that's the thing Got I keep it. trying to tell everyone. Understood. That sounds good. I'm fine with this. <laughs> I, all I'm asking for is equal stake, like we were talking. Yeah, that's fine. And two yeah. investments means you get ten more dollars, and the debt marker moves two spaces because it's two investments. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah, and all I was trying to say, Lily, is you could probably save flipping that workshop and just have ten pounds still instead of 15. I don't know if that's yeah, the right yeah. call, but I, I feel like that's probably what I would do. Just I'm, like I'm, I'm okay. A little bit. What happens if, a, do we just not have a chairman if everyone has abandoned the court of directors? Uh, it is technically possible. I, I, it looks oh, like it's going to happen. <laughs> but I like it. All right. I'm done. Uh, yep. OK. Uh, it sounds like we are done forming firms and investing in firms. Uh, firms can acquire ships during this phase as well. So now's the time to purchase oh. ships. Um, if people want to. So my thought was to buy these, these two ships from the company for six between the two. Well, you have control of the firm, and so you're therefore incentivized to buy your own ship because that fits it and then gets you one pound of income every... <laughs> Revenue phase. Gorky. That would be so funny. 
<laughs> I love it. Um, but I'm not seeing anything in here about fitting ships. So, like, you you can, you can either buy ships from the company as long as you control their shipyards, or you can just buy them from yourself if you if they're. Oh, on so I would just spend three to buy the yeah, ship. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so that it so, it makes sense for this firm, your firm, to buy this first because it gives you yes. a pounds yourself. And then, yeah, the, the second ship has to come from me because Garrick and Lily aren't going to agree to sell our firm a ship. Um, so my is there is there any is there any, is there any there. way? So where does this ship go now? To the company, um, to the firm. Yeah, the the firm. Firm, 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 not company. Um, stop! Stop putting in the Z are zone. We putting them before. I think we like, just, you just put them, them like yeah. You just like put them above the the charter. Yeah, it just goes near. Oh okay. That's right. Yeah yeah. Whoever makes sense. Uh, yeah, and then I'll I'll sell the Britannia to the firm as well. Oh, I think you made that slightly too low. So that's oh. we bought two ships. It's basically. okay. I can fix it. Are you talking about my box? No, he's talking about. No, my oh, I didn't want it. Oh, okay, I didn't want it there. I don't know what's happening. I resized yours. Garrick's trying to make the little, uh, the bid box hidden again. Gotcha. It doesn't really work otherwise. I see. The little chit doesn't flip. Ah, out. yes, the charter's just. Yeah, Can that's if, it? if it's too low, it just disappears. The charter, so I'm fixing it. Gotcha. Is this actually a hidden zone, John? I don't um, think mine's actually hidden. I was going to say, Lily's is... Um, yeah, I can see it's very transparent. Transparent. Lily's, so someone is... But John is you, hidden. How are you moving mine? Because I'm in the volume scale tool. How do you make He's it? He's got magic powers. You should scoot over that counter a little bit. I don't know how to do make this hidden. Do 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 do. TTS stream. Oopsie. Why was that unlocked? Turn on my interface. This is why people come here, right? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Do 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 do. Nope. Got the box. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. Beauteous. All right. I don't know why Lily's box looks different from John's, but but I don't have any. I don't have any money for my strategy, though. Well, yeah, we're not there yet. So um, is this hidden now? Yes, I I cannot see that. I'm assuming no one else can either. I can. Can you see the token? The, the, oh, the North no, I can, I can see the board, but I can't see the token. Perfect. Um, Lee, why would we need to manipulate dice within the hidden zone? Because we reveal and roll all at the same time, don't we? For when it's the relevant timing, of course. Struggling to think why it would be important. So is the amount of money that I put into this counter secret or public? The counter, oh, I think, is public. The counter needs to be secret. That's that's what we're doing wrong. The yeah, we need to expand the box to, to put the counter in. That was me being so, silly. Originally, I was okay with. Originally, you were okay. Yep, yep. I'm just being. Ah! I'm being silly. I'm being. Yeah, silly. I just feel justified in not making everything oh. up off the top of my head. <laughs> There we go. 
<sighs> okay. That's all figured out. Lily, you need to invest in ships. All right. Um, I'm a... You just, you just fit ships okay. for, nor like, the way you would with the company. You spend three pounds, and you take the ship to the firm. Okay. Uh, are you cool with me fitting one of your ships and or both of your ships? Yeah. I figured you'd want to do yours as well. Yeah, I'm doing mine for sure, but I wasn't sure if you'd be cool with me taking yours. So that's three, and then three goes to the company, or? Three goes to the company for each ship that you fit that the company has. So the one I just took from myself that was technically in the company. Yes. Oh, okay, so. Okay. Um... Did we give um did we give money to the to the company for the ship that we bought? E oh, is it all three? Do all three pounds go to the company? Technically this was a Diligence was that, unfitted. That one, diligence was unfitted, so that one didn't come oh, from Okay. Oh, so you only buy it from the, the company. company if it's in the sea. If yes. it's if it's in the company, because okay. the company, so, cause, cause the so company we owe it. we owe three then. Do all three go to the company, Carrick, or is it just one? I forget. Any money spent should be added yep. to the shipping office's treasury. Okay. Yep. How much did shipping start with? Five. Okay, so then so it that have, it should have added yeah. twelve. Yeah. Oh, we only it shouldn't have one. here. Sorry. Yeah, that's not shipping. And we're paying shipping directly. Yeah, that's okay. right. It was. It's less if they're damaged. That's what I was thinking of. Yeah, and that's why I wasn't saying anything because nothing was damaged. Okay. Do we have to do the declaration bidding now as well? Now that everyone has purchased their ships and stuff, yes, we are going to move on to the firm strategy phase, where each firm manager is going to secretly select their C zone using the marker in the thing, uh, and they will secretly. Uh, uh, determine how much money they are spending. And if you're doing the no sale, you cannot uh, uh, bid any money. What? That doesn't make any sense. I'm not sure why the money counter is hidden, because the other treasuries are not and it's sort of obvious well that just shows the max potential if you were <laughs> well, to, if you were to my, use less then yeah um, could, well, you, mine could be you three. don't you don't reduce this until you reveal yeah this that makes sense yeah obviously. yeah all right everyone decided how much they're spending and their zones um mm -hmm. i think so hold on wait 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 Gork, if you have good um, poker chips, I don't think you need the metal coins for John Company. That said, I have good poker chips, and I still bought the metal coins, so don't listen to me. <laughs> I think I got the metal coins. I definitely got the metal coins. I usually, yeah, I usually will just take whatever's they're, there. They're so good in Pamir. Yeah, I mean, I figured uh, worst case scenario, so, so. Yeah, like, even if I were to, to hate them and never use them, I could probably just resell them because those Pamir coins, like, mm -hmm. for whatever reason, nobody bought them and suddenly everyone was like, oh my god, I need them. And yeah, I'm sure somebody made a pretty penny reselling their copy of coins. I liked Oath Metal coins better than Pamir's, but... I love how Oath stack. That was brilliant. Stack, oh yeah. my goodness, it's, it's so, so satisfying. Good. All right, are people done I deciding? Have, I am ready. I am ready. Lily? I think so. I, oh, wait, I am making um, a decision that I am not very confident in. Oh, you I need... Have a, I, you want advice, Lily? A... Y yes. But I didn't want you to say it out loud. That's why I've been messaging you. Well, All don't right. don't go to the Eastern Sea Zone. Let me, let me say okay, that. Okay, got it. Got it. <laughs> you fill orders just like the company, which means you're going to be placing Garrick pieces onto the spots and filling whatever they are. Which means, you know, south is probably the most profitable. West is also profitable and a little safer. You know. Um, 
Does the does crossing of lines matter like it does for the company or no? It does nope. not, as far as we could tell. Okay. Uh, but remember, I think I understand. Remember, whoever rolls more successes between the firms and the company, uh, they will get to fulfill orders first, and then all other orders fulfill at half value. Gotcha. So there's maybe I, I've made a decision. I I'm gonna stick with my decision that I made. I don't know if it's a good one, but I'm gonna stick with it. As long as it's not east, we're a okay. <laughs> what if it's north? That uh, whispers do do not work in uh, this. Uh, oh no, it's it no no it's forget the right. Command. I think it's slash instead it's of exclamation point. Slash yeah. yeah slash. Okay, we are moving on. I think I think we are all all done. I think we are all done with the firm's phase, please? No? Uh... Wait, I'm green. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking to you, John. I know, I, I, I whispered myself. I, anyway, can we just, can we just, can, option. can we just talk oh. about this outwardly instead of typing it just for this? Like, yeah, I, I don't know how it. much this actually needs to be secret. <clears throat> well, so, because if there's two firms competing over the same C zone, then it becomes suddenly a lot more. There's a very uh, specific thing that I'm uh, worried about. Ouch thing. So maybe without telling you what I, what I'm, what I did or what I'm planning on doing. My question is, I'm looking at the rules and it basically says, so after the, the, the presidency rolls for trade. Then after that, you reveal and you roll, and then whoever has the most successes gets to go first. Correct. So my question is, I'm somewhat feeling like maybe going south would make sense because I'm the president and I can just roll one die. Or does oh, it? Do they both? Point. Do they there both have to be successful for both of you? Actually, because if you want to just guarantee, you can just say, "I'm not sailing." as the president. Oh, that's but a really interesting relationship like... with both of you. Huh. So after the president rolls a successful check in the trade action, but before uh, filling uh, orders. It also, um, at least the way we played it last time, is if the president fails or doesn't roll, like chooses not to roll at all, then you still go after that president. So they don't have to roll at all. You oh, can just say, okay. The Madras presidency is not going to roll anything. And then the company would be like, well, I'm in Madras, and then they do the thing and get it for free. Unless yeah, the other on that, firm is there competing, right? And on so, that note, I'm thing. concerned about going west or east, because we can go east because we have the ability to open up that order. But then yeah. either Garrick or Lily have the ability to outroll me. And, and basically, so this guarantees, going south, it guarantees our ability to full, collect the full amount of the order. No, because because they all if they also pick south, then we're both going to reveal at the same time, and we're both going to roll dice at the same time, and whoever rolls more successes goes first. So you, you still could get disrupted mm. if we collectively, like if you and Lily both decide to go in the same place, uh, then ah, there will be competition has, for sure. Hayes has a good point. Remember, <laughs> if there's an initiative tie, the president picks who trades uh, first. Oh, okay, so but, that is helpful. That's a good but that's point. just a tie. Yeah, but still, that gives a slight advantage that's worth uh, keeping in mind. So, Lily, do you have any interest in uh, claiming a ceasefire of sorts where you go west, I go south, and we just go about our own separate ways? Lily, are you muted? I am muted. Um, there we go. Yes, I, I still... <laughs> I still uh don't know what I'm what I'm doing, but um uh, I guess my our incentive to do that is that one of us will suffer. Um because I plan on not rolling here and you could plan on not rolling there and guarantee your private firm gets to f fill the orders at full full value. But if you come and compete with me, you might get shut out. And I'm I'm doing the same thing where I could go over here. Does that make sense? It makes makes sense. Um, 
So if you agree to go west, I'll agree to go south, and we can both make money for our private firms. I, I think your position is just weaker at this point in time because I've got more money to potentially bid with for um, competing with dice. Although sure. my luck balances that out, so I don't know. All right, I'm ready. You ready to go, Lily? Yeah. All right. Uh, hiring. Uh, there's no shares. There's nothing to hire. On to chairman. Um. What does governor general do? You're right. There is no one to stop me, Lee. I'm going to take out eight debt. <laughs> Wait, let's just break this game. Why not? I think we might have already. We'll we'll see where this goes. <laughs> um, take the debt. Take the debt, man. <laughs> well, I don't know what to use it on, frankly, because it sounds like the presidencies aren't going to use the money they have. Uh, shipping has plenty of funds. I don't think they need more. Uh, and then I can't figure out why Governor General, uh, would need money. Yeah, so I just realized something, which is that we really screwed up letting Garrick have the soul <laughs> share. <laughs> <laughs> like, A, I was really excited about the weird pressures of Garrick really wanting the company to succeed, but me having all of the positions that were relevant to the company succeeding. And that didn't <laughs> yeah. happen. But also, yeah. the company cannot make any money because Garrick will get 100% of it in dividends. He can issue all of the money as dividends because <laughs> a dividend only costs one pound. <laughs> Drew, if you run a company into the brown, you get to profit from it. <laughs> <laughs> well, so again, I again, say, I am, I am here for the not, experimentation. We're not opening this order, neither of you should sail. I am gonna send. Oh shit! I you have to spend all your money, though. Other you have to spend two, all. Yeah. You have to spend fifteen of that. <laughs> um, well, that's fine because I can buy five or I can buy three company ships and put them in the east. And nope, don't it. don't do that. Why don't you buy like six emergency ships uh, or extra ships? Uh, and they the just other go away. Is we actually need this company to survive so that our firms can actually be out of the negative. Although I guess what? if everyone's equally negative, it's kind of a wash. <laughs> oh, I love it. This game is weird. <laughs> oh. Where's the... Governor General, here's the rulebook section. Oh no, John. <laughs> oh. Is that Director of Trade? Yeah. <laughs> well, I need to change my answer then. <laughs> yeah, you do. Oh, what a... Uh... Yeah. Are, are people changing their their shipping destination? Only because I I had a misunderstanding about what was possible. <laughs> I'm confused. What? We're what all good. Misconception? Good. Did you have what? What misconception did you have? That Drew could move these ships. Gotcha. Because he's shipping, but that's not what shipping does. It's not what shipping does. 
sir, that's not what we do here. We're shipping. <laughs> you need to go three doors down to the director of trade. who He might be at lunch, though. I don't know. I'm very confused, but okay. <laughs> uh, short answer. Drama. Short answer is John was confused. Now he's not, and he's just changing what he did. But that's okay because nothing's happened. Um, yeah, we're we're just all learning. <laughs> yeah, I really don't know what to do with this money. So let's just throw. Um, Put it into the presidencies. Three. Oh, that's true. Two. Sure. Sounds good to me. Governor General. Yeah, Envoy is gone. All right, dice pool equal to two plus the number of company controlled regions. Uh, so let me grab two. And then we have uh, three regions by my count. What are you doing here? Governor General. General. It gets two plus the number of company controlled regions, which makes it look like I get five dice. Uh, do, do, do. Yep, we're going to go ahead and roll for our first attempt at administer. Uh, those are some successes. What do we want to do? Yeah, adds unrest. Let us Let's build a ship. Uh, and then we'll remove a die. And do it again. Is there a reason everyone's being so quiet? Uh, it's another success. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and build that ship. I'm just waiting for you to do your stuff. Sure. A likely story. <clears throat> and let us roll again. As a success, Woo. Uh, we'll work on building another ship. Do you have to pay for that ship? It's it's what the action is. Nice. And you're gaining a pound every time you succeed. I right? was going to grab them all when it's over. Oh, okay. But I've had three. Technically, successes. that's how it's supposed to work because yeah. the taken off soldier bonus promissory note gets all of the money. Oh paid. yeah. Lee says no, and I don't know what what for. Just no. No, Garrick, no. <laughs> um, oh, I think the answer was paying for ships. Oh, yeah, yeah. No payment. Look, nailed uh, it. Nailed it. <laughs> Let's go ahead and be stupid and roll again. Oh, that's so stupid. It is. It's truly stupid. Hey, it's um, a success. <laughs> so we'll put out another ship. Why don't you put them in China? Uh, that's what I'm going to do with my two transfers. Oh. Can you not put them there directly? I don't know. It says to put them in C zones. I don't know if those are C zones. I am not rolling again, Hayes. Aww. One, two, three, four successes. Um... Frankly, I don't know that I 
care to rearrange the writers anyway. Uh, and I'm I like where the ships are like this. I think. Well, and doesn't it? Don't you only get two total transfers, and it's either ships or writers? Or right. Writers? I was saying if even if I could place these directly in, which I you know is inconclusive. Oh, uh, I, see. I, see, I see. I don't know that I have a use for the transfers anyway. <laughs> yep. Well, the other question is, can you move them to China? I'm assuming so. If trade is opened. I mean, there's got to be some way to get ships into China. Um, yeah, by purchasing them with shipping and assigning them there. <laughs> uh, anyway, I think Governor General is done, which means shipping is up. Okie dokie. Um, I will spend 17 on a temporary and three company ships. Where are they going? And they are all going in the south. Ah, I knew I should have taken one out of Madras. Don't blow it, John. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Commander in chief. Um, yeah. So Hmm. Okay, yeah, I want to assign this guy to Bombay, or I'm transferring him to Bombay and a regiment to Bombay. <laughs> then I'm assigning that one to Bombay, and then that one to Bombay. I think. Uh, yes, that's what I will do. Hmm. Okay. 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 Bombay commander slash commander in chief. Um, <laughs> so I will go attack Bombay. <laughs> Am I not giving you enough attention? <laughs> Hi. Okay. Uh, uh, yes, I'm going to attack Bombay uh, with all the things where's the elephant madras madras is probably fine oh shoot wait okay actually <laughs> maybe... wait, i've never seen commander-in-chief before so i'm uh forgetting or i'm not i don't know how, what happens when a region gets lost because normally the that commander would get fired so if madras gets lost does the commander in chief get fired? Let me check. My brain is saying no, but I don't trust my brain. Uh, let me go find the event. Uh, yes, I did find out that you can move ships to China uh, via the Director okay. of Trade. So yeah, you're good there. Cool. Trying to find this. They are in the eastern sea, sea zone for purposes of uh, storms, expenses, events, and laws. Yeah, I know that part. Okay. I'm not seeing anything about it, Drew. Okay. Because I and I'm also concerned about the trophies that I have. I need to make sure those don't get eaten. Sorry, what was the question? If anything happens to Commander in Chief for region loss, and I'm not finding any evidence of it in the rule book, but then again, we've established that I am not trustworthy in that regard. Uh <laughs> 
Actually, didn't the uh, penalty or the trophy loss for losing a region get eliminated completely? You only lose trophies when you fail on an attack, right? Or I was I was just I was just checking that now. Exactly. Yeah, I remembered it was changed, and I don't remember how. On page twenty six, okay. it just says that. Um, Lee Hook says no loss. If the commander in chief rolls a catastrophic failure, the office is vacated like any other office, and any officers yeah. and regiments used must check to see if they were eliminated. Yeah, but that's not a region loss. Yeah, so it doesn't seem like there's a region uh, loss. Yeah, so it sounds like I don't really need to defend Madras. <clears throat> doesn't sound like it. Yeah. Okie dokie. Um. Oh wait, no. So trophies are still for region loss if catastrophic. So if we lose Madras, I lose my trophies. Checking. Flipping back and forth between three different sections of the rule book. <laughs> <laughs> the commander of the army associated with this region returns all of the trophies their family owns to the supply. That's for region loss, yeah. So that's why okay, you need so to care. I'm the commander of everything. Phew! Oh, we found dang it. we found the liability. I was looking for it. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say there's gotta be a downside to the yeah. commander in chief somewhere. Yeah. Um okay, well so that unfortunately changes all the calculus. So Bro, we're doing calculus now? Uh, Delhi. <laughs> <laughs> so Delhi is drink one. Um dang it. Hayes, I thought you lose we, trophies we lose them. if you fail in a, uh, a campaign or a open it, orders. That or is used, that the thing that they removed? That's the thing that was that's removed. That's what they removed. Yeah. Oh, but you it. do lose it during a region loss now. That's right. Okay. Yeah, so I just had it backwards. Uh, okay, so let's, um, let's see what was here originally. It was... This and this and these two guys over here. Um, all right, John. What? So, what if we go campaigning in Hyderabad? Uh, because then we can use the money in this treasury to hire mercenaries. Would you be interested in that? Um, I'll, uh, I'll I'll cut you in fifty fifty. <laughs> what are you talking about with which army? The army of Madras. Well, okay, I, th I think it makes sense. I mean, for both of us. I'm gonna do this. I will transfer this guy here. I will transfer. Um. Oh shoot! I can't use the commander or the regiments. Because it just gives Garrick money. No, there's a boatload of expenses. We're probably fine. Okay. Uh, yeah. So I'll do that. I'll transfer him there, and then both of these will go to Madras. Okay. Right. Cool. Um, so now we're into the Bombay army, which is just going to do nothing. Um, so. And then the president of Bombay now. Bombay presidency. Yep. Okay. Um, so if I actually don't do anything. If you don't do anything, anyone who chose West as their region will reveal and resolve their stuff. If you do sail, then the moment you fail or succeed will pause. Anyone who chose West as their thing will reveal and roll uh, and will determine from there. Okay. What? Okay, so I did choose West. So what makes more sense for me? Just so um, not do anything. Well, yeah, you don't want to sail as the company, Lily, if you picked West. No, what makes oh. what makes the Maybe most sense is getting more successes with the firm than with the company. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah, ideally you want to do both, <laughs> but roll more successes with the firm than roll successes with the company. Yes. Now, <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, Mike, the hidden zones are for the private firms. They do a blind bid for where they go and how much, uh, how many resources they commit to going there. Uh, I think it's going to be a lot less fiddly in real life. It's a little fiddly in TTS. Don't stress about it. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I do wonder how they're going to handle hidden money, like the bid, the money that you bid. You just you take your stack of poker chips, you put it on the space, and you take your chip and you put it on top of the poker stack, and then just tell yeah, no, then tell people not to count. How many chips are? No, under. you tell people not to oh, count. Well, yeah, okay, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Hayes, I agree. There's only, you only actually have one ship in Bombay. I wouldn't worry too much about blocking yourself. You're losing That's a potential fair. two revenue. Okay. Yeah, that's a good point. Worst case scenario. Hey, hey Cole. Yeah. <laughs> Cover with your hand like a normal person. <laughs> uh, we think we broke the game, I think. No, we're just flailing it out. I, I, I think we, we broke, broke each other. As much as we broke each other and we've made awful decisions. Oh. We... There you, you know, go, Hayes. No, no, right, that's I'm, not gonna... I'm gonna do that like a normal person. <laughs> Poker chips in the mouth is where normal people put them. No, no, right? I, I slide mine up my sleeves, and then when it comes time to reveal them, I fling them out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna roll four dice for, for Bombay. Uh, Cole, did I mention that we started this stock this this round with uh, I think it was six shares, five shares, uh, and what? we're this is the first round of the game. Hey, I can't believe we didn't think about the fact that we were going with Derek with all the only share. <laughs> this is a terrible decision. Drew, if we've learned anything about this game, what we've found is that there are zero consequences for anything that you do. Well, that's why it only moves over <laughs> once for greater than 10 pounds paid in dividends. So <laughs> in case something like this happens. This is this is fine. Everything's fine. Okay. Everything's fine. All right. So I got a success, one success there. Um, like I said, I did do West. OK. Um, and I bid all of my money because I the yeah. app. Yep. You can just unlock your exactly. counter and pull it out to prove that if you want. I mean, we also trust you. So. All right. I will pretend like I'm not trustworthy. Um, I, th uh, I assume you have to spend it from your London treasury. Uh, Lee, I admit I was sorely tempted to just take eight debt with my, with my maximum power <laughs> just for the comedy <laughs> of it. <laughs> No, then you just leave it there and pay it all out to yourself. <laughs> Done. <laughs> I shouldn't give you ideas. You Actually, that's a eyes. great point. Can you take debt and then not spend it into the company? You could not do that in first edition, but can you do that in this edition? Uh, I honestly can't remember if you're allowed to that's keep money German. from round to round. Uh, hey. Two successes. <laughs> All I needed. <laughs> you have to spend it down. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. That's good. Yeah, that makes that makes a lot more sense. Um, <laughs> Derek, <laughs> I take eighty pounds worth of debt. I pay all of it to myself. <laughs> <laughs> it would be forty pounds of debt. Thank you. I'm pretty sure this track is not limited. No, but I mean, there you get five per. No, no you're right. You're right. You're Right. Okay, so that makes sense, Cole. Uh, uh, head desk. It's appropriation gonna... of funds. It's certainly called something. Head Papa, desk. you're not. Are you sailing in the west? Oh no, no. Okay. okay, I made a deal with you. You did, and I didn't really respond to it, so I wasn't sure if you actually believed me. Oh, okay. I, well, I, since you didn't respond, I wasn't sure, so I just had to assume that there wasn't compliance, that we were just going to go our separate ways. Fair. All right. Yeah. The firm is now worth nothing. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. And then... Did, has Cole seen the generic Garricks? Uh, I'm always generic. Yeah. Cole, you're here. Can we get these faces made for realsies, please? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> like you can barely tell that they've been changed from their original form. Yes, I mean, I'm telling you, Cole, just slide one of them onto the sheet. Just, just, just one, one of them. Just one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, and the baby elephants. So your firm has Cole, sailed. I'll, I'll give firm you my consent sales. for nepotism, Cole, for getting them reprinted. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right. Then the company sales. Uh, which person are you going to use to fill um, your one order? Why are both of you rich? I'm just... <laughs> uh, I will say Kirk is about to be absurdly Simply rich. rich. <laughs> I'm not convinced y'all are going to sail. <laughs> I sailed once. I got the company a whole $2. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, um, uh, in for a penny, in for a pound. Thank you. We each get a pound. Oh, Lily, why? And then we move you on. bribe me. To Commander of oh, Madras. Oh, 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 Mr. Window. Mr. Window. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Window. <laughs> All right. On to the oh. Commander of Madras. Or the Commander in Chief. Indeed. Okay. So. Oh, gosh. Um, How much the, money do you need? Well, so the elephant's about to attack Madras with. A strength of two. So we actually kind of need a lot of defense. We're going after Hyderabad. We have six pounds. We're certainly not using them to sail. <laughs> um, <laughs> Nizam and Nagpur is four strength. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, shoot. We don't have enough to buy both of those. <laughs> Where was our, where was our uh, chairman? Oh, according to um, off embezzling. I have not embezzled okay, anything what? yet. It's not my fault. Every single yes. shareholder willingly left. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't make me a thief. That makes me the captain going down with the ship. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. Oh gosh. Okay, so if I go, if I go, try to conquer Hyderabad and I fail, I don't lose my trophies. Just to confirm that, right? Uh, yeah, so, I didn't. It, it looks like it's just for region, region now. Loss. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, so I will just take. Well, I think first of all, um, are you willing to let me, John, buy the Nizam? You can have all my money, Pumpkin. <laughs> That's all we can afford. <laughs> so spend three. All right, and then we're going adventuring. Yeah. Uh, with only three. <laughs> three dice against Hyderabad. Adventuring is that what they call it? That is exactly what they call it. <laughs> I feel offended. There it is. You got it. Whew. All right. Uh, uh, so there's one tower plus two loot. So that's uh six. It's four per tower, right? Uh, yes. However, you did roll a six, so you're going to have to roll death checks. Correct. Uh, oh, that's right. And death checks are they're they're back to being before no, wait, after Luth. They're back to being. That's before. right, because you don't have to kill your own pieces anymore. Yeah. All right, great. Uh, John, roll death checks. I roll two for my guys. They are both safe. I feel like I'm not going to be as lucky. You are not as lucky. <laughs> you are not as lucky. <laughs> Did they both die? No, just one. No, just, just one. one. Just one. Just oh. on five or sixes. The other one has like a bullet whiz by his head. It's like, oh my god. <laughs> I think it's stuck in his leg. Okay, so I <laughs> that, get a power for conquering one tower segment, and then there is six pounds distributed evenly, basically, because it wraps around twice. Yeah. Um. So I get two. Um, yeah, John, you get two, and I get four. Yep. Yep, yep. Wait, All that's right. not, not there. This should be a zero anyway. Well, it will be in just a second. <laughs> yep, because now it's time for John to not sail as the Madras president. Yep. 
As, as president of this year outfit, I say no, I will not sail. But that firm I will. will. Spend, I will spend four. Oh, Cole, if you're still right, here, John. we want named private firms. Oh, yeah, that did come two. up, didn't it? What's that? That, too. We want many things. We want many named things. Private firms is somewhere on the list. Baby elephants. Generic is right at the top. No more family names, really. Interesting. We're so boned. <laughs> <laughs> I guess uh I guess we're not sailing. Hey, at least at least your debts are minimal, right? Well, okay, commander of Bengal. True? Uh I'm not going to do anything with Bengal. Oops. Oops. President of Bengal. Uh, well, I'm not sailing, so on to Superintendent of Trade in China. Lily, would you like to okay, sail? Okay, I have, I have no idea what I'm doing, so someone needs to walk me through this. All right. I know we talked through it before, but I did not retain any of it. Uh, so if you sail, well, you're rolling four dice because you have four ships. Yep. Cool, cool. If you succeed, just, uh, and there's no penalty, I believe. Uh, so it would just be straight four dice. If you succeed, then the company will make four pounds for every opium icon in regions that it controls, which are okay. currently uh, four. Yeah, four. It looks like max potential is five. Yep, that seems right. Uh, and so you'll get one per. 16, and then and you'll get, get one per. You would get four. I'll do it. Well, wait, wait, wait. Uh, what are the company's yes. expenses? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I 11, think it can handle getting 12, four more dollars. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Okay, yeah, you're safe to do it. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I might have even bribed you not to do it, but we're, we're fine. Uh, if, if you, you would have to give me more than four dollars. <laughs> or four dollars or more is effectively the only thing that would have bribed me. Cool. That's success. So the company gets uh, 16, Lily, you get four. And we move on to bonuses. Yep. Get your money, people. We are opium dealers. Doesn't, didn't the, doesn't that launch us into an infamous traffic? Say, it it does. Need, actually, before we go to bonus phase, we need to whip out AIP. <laughs> I think it you, if you if you zoom in close enough, it'll actually say in very small print. Resolve yeah, it's this in this by cute little red game. Resolve yeah. it in the traffic. Uh, my magnify tool does not see it anywhere. I think you probably need to turn off mod caching. <laughs> <laughs> All right, revenue and expenses. First firms. Um, Lily, we have expenses of four. Okay. Because three ships well, and a debt. We have expenses of two and no money. Yep. <laughs> well, I, can, four. I can put my family money right? in there, can't I? No, they have expenses of two because they have just we two have ships. Two ships and, and the debt debt is on zero. Oh, I see. Yep. I understand how this works now. Yep. My brain is functioning. And can we funnel family money into the firm? Oh, uh, let me remember. Before I lie to you. No, the lying's fun. I mean, I do lie frequently. <laughs> it's um, also true. <laughs> the answer is no, according to Lee Hook. Perfect. There we yeah, go. Yeah, I was gonna say. I, I, I didn't think you could. It, uh, it just I'm so used to firms from first edition still that like I'm still unlearning that. Yeah, that's fair. Um, so what do we do, Garrick? What does uh, this firm oh. do? Yeah, that, I, I should, must, I should keep must the be robot dissolved. Up. Yeah, you must be dissolved. And we, must and be dissolved following S3 VP. Um, a firm facing dissolution may receive investments from any player and use that money to cover expenses. Uh, doo -doo -doo. A firm facing dissolution may participate in a negotiated merger at this time. Ooh. Anything, really? anything there sound interesting to people before I 
find the failure rules? Uh, well, what invest what investments are even available? Because I I can't. The investment yeah. has to come from a workshop. So really, or... only Lily could bail out this firm because she's the only one with workshops. Yeah. Because um, ah. I assume the chairman cannot be used as a share to invest. I have all the power. Yes. I refuse to help. Um. I guess and then the failing. merger option would just be, like, basically, does Lily want our assets in exchange for some amount of share dilution? Um, what are the what's the next part of the rules, Garrick? Uh, which part? The actually dissolving dissolution. The, the dissolution rules. Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure we just take the the VP payout. Yeah, you, right? you score the firm as if its value was on the leftmost space. Then all shares are returned to their owner's supply. All ships are returned to their matching shipyard. Uh, and you return the charter to the supply. So I'm... Oh, my disc isn't even over there, which is fine. But I'm going to be at minus... Should be at minus six? Yeah. No, because there's, there's two shares, so it's paid out as a dividend evenly. So we both get Oh, minus three. okay. Uh, but first, does Lily want to buy our assets in a merger? Uh, pretty but sure doesn't I don't. That, doesn't that prevent us from disillusion? Well, so yeah, so basically, we could all we could agree to merge the two firms, and then Lily would decide how the new shares get allocated, which means she could like just dictate whatever terms she wants. She could like hyper dilute us and put like 10 of her shares in and give us one each or give us none <laughs> or whatever she wants and then she gets the ships out of the firm is really the only thing that's valuable in this firm is the two boats yeah so, um... so Lily the important thing to remember is that shares are pretty much completely at your whim you can you can I do like that. inflate and dilute them as much as you really want uh, subject yeah. to negotiation and, and I think my approval since I'm a shareholder uh so like you and Basically, I, Basically, Lily, like if you wanted to merge this firm, and let's say we had some kind of leverage to ask for this, we wanted like twenty percent shares. Like if you want, you could dump ten of your pieces into, or or however many of your shares in you want, and then put one of ours in, so that the ratio works out to ten percent share, twenty percent share, or whatever. Yeah. Like it doesn't have to be. You can you can add your own pieces in order to maintain I whatever yeah. ratio so you're targeting. Maximum of six. Shares. Oh, per there firm. might be a max. There might be a max of piece limit. I was going to say there's there's probably some sort of max, but the the principle. I think I still want to watch yeah. watch the firm go down. Oh, <laughs> it just says the newly created firm may only have a maximum of six. So I don't know if that six limit is for the rest of the game, or if that's only for a brand new brand new firm. Yeah, actually, I don't see anything about a max in the reorganizing shareholders section oh okay so that must mean there is no max that's just the um, you can't start it with more okay. than six uh firms can only have six cole says okay cool six of a um, so player or six really the only total question is do you want these two ships to end up in your firm because you could you could merger and probably just say neither of you get any shares and i'll take the boats and we probably would say yes because it would save us negative vps but the negative uh, VP sounds care. hilarious. So I'm no, not going to do that. Just saying, you, you, that is a decision that you could make if you choose to do so. I don't, I mean, I would, if I were you, I'd ask for more, but. Cole, can I'm we up sure that max? Interested. That, I want to be able to dilute shares more than that. Uh, I mean, one sixth of a company is. I, too much. Because if you think about it, it's. Really, it's too much. I just right. want to be at 10. It's not six total, it's six per player, right? No, no, it's six total. Or is it no, six it's total? six total. Oh, oh yeah, I just saw that. Okay, yeah, that is a little bit... I feel like having ten total would be nice, because then you have some even percentages. Yeah, but I agree. Whatever. Anyway, the uh, answer is dil dilute it. Go make it make it burn. I think Cole mostly doesn't she, want us to put nine of our own pieces it. into a... <laughs> Lily doesn't want us to get bailed out. No. Okay, so, so no, we scored our minus three points. <laughs> Yes. No, so no. now, what happens to the boats, Garrick? Since they go back to the shipyards. shipyards. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Britannia is mine. Nice. 
Isn't the sixth share could be a twenty fifth share just divided six ways? <laughs> Trying to yes, Lee. That's that's technically true. It's just the ratio. It gives there's like some finesse over the ratio between shares. The more you have, like if the if six shares is the max, then the the smallest portion of a company that you own is one sixth of it. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. Um. Yeah. And I want to be able to give somebody a tenth of a company just because that sounds exactly. so petty, hilarious, so it deeply petty. petty. But I. I love it. Well, and I mean, first edition had tenth. It was split into tenths, and it it max at like sixty though. Ten percent of ten percent of a company felt like a small enough entry price that it it, it made negotiations a little easier. Whereas a six of the but company, I mean yeah, uh, but uh, the the, the, the you, might, yeah. you might need Sorry. those family pieces. I was yeah, gonna say give me my <laughs> give me my lady back. <laughs> <laughs> That's so so sad. Okay, um, so your firm has dissolved. Lily, you are yes. allowed to pay dividends if you so desire. Cool, cool. Um, I think I want to. So would I have, how, how does this work? Basically, you can pay out in $2 increments, one for me, one for you. Gotcha. Um, let's do, mm -hmm. I definitely want to do one, so let me just see what that feels like. Remember, um, this is part of our money towards paying for the next sale. I know, that's why I'm... Yeah. hesitant about spend going going farther like i would only do two at max oh yeah that's a good point i want at least hook. um i should clarify these uh when you pay these out you can put them yeah. into your special private firm dividends which allows you to use exclusively that money for retiring a person uh that had not retired you you take a piece from your family supply and you can retire them using just that cash i don't think i have the money for that yet no but it's maybe a justification to hoard some some cash in the company at the moment and do a big payout I'll, later yeah i'll put i'll put seven in there i think i'll just pay out the one okay for now okay i do want to pay out the one though all right uh then the company what is this Papa, is this your card? Yes. <laughs> well, I don't know why you have it. <laughs> I don't either. That's why I was curious why it was there. All right. Company expenses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, eight, twenty one is by my count. Does anyone concur or disagree? I blindly agree. I also blindly agree. Drew? And I throw this piece off the edge of the table. I mean, who's to who's to say? <laughs> uh, sorry, I counted 18 debt. Did I say 21? That was a slip of the tongue. I got 21. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, in that case, we yeah, need we need one emergency debt. Sorry, one emergency loan. Uh, doo -doo -doo. And that gives us one, two, three, four, five. And then we spend 21 of it, so we're down to two. That puts us below our standing. Sorry, our public expectations. So we lose a standing. Uh, and then we move on to events in... in uh... Actually, I could pay out. Pay out for two! <laughs> Um, one, two, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Do we count the black ship? I'm still getting twenty-one. Yeah, we count the the black ship, uh, and we had no debt, and we don't count the Nizam. I got nothing. Then I got twenty-one. Yeah, I got twenty-one. 
Okay, we'll keep going. Um, oh, we just moved it over, Lee, for the emergency loan that we needed. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, unless that emergency loan immediately creates a one pound liability, I think. No, I think Lee was just uh, a little confused. Um, um, not quite going to get enough. Company's in a pretty good spot. I'm just going to go ahead and pay out the two remaining to myself. Uh, all right, events in India. Let's see how we do. Oh dear. Oh boy, here we go. First up, crisis plus three. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, does it set to zero after handling emergency loans, Hayes? All right, I'll put back the money. <laughs> uh, all right, crisis. That is uh, three to uh, three to your four, so Drew. Fucked. Is that what it is? <laughs> Well, but isn't it the strength of the invading province? So it's five to my four. No, no, no. This is a rebellion. Oh, need... gosh, you're right. Of course, because we own the company. I just was confused because it's sitting on the border. Yeah, no, it's um, there's not enough space in, in Madras. OK, OK. Well, I could have left one more guy, but oh, well, that's fine. I don't want that anyway. Uh, yeah, so the rebellion is successfully put down with these four. Uh, which you need to exhaust the three as our So we'll do that guy and that guy, and then I get a power. Uh, and it's going to go to Delhi on the star or circle. Circle, there we go. Okay. Uh, and I don't see any unrest, so I think we just go ahead and nope. go on to the next one. Turmoil in Bengal. Uh, it cascades. On to the next one. Crisis. Uh, so that's going to give it two versus two. Does it need to match or exceed? Does anyone remember? Nobody remembers. Pretty sure it's exceed. No, the, ex the exceed stream is later, Drew. Is there more knowledgeable than me? What did they say? Exceed. Okay. <laughs> Did you just get my joke? Yes. Okay. Uh, Hyderabad. <laughs> uh, relocate to this. Uh, and since it was failed, uh, let's see. Oh, crap. It's in Hyderabad now. So it's in the middle. Don't put it on the border. Attacker if the <laughs> invasion failed. So that goes to there. Okay. Here you're right. It is company controlled. Succeed. I'm trusting, right. I'm trusting Cole one on this one. more card. Peace! Whew. Uh, in Bombay. Or, no, wait. It's no, it's, it's by Elephant. Yeah. Um, so it's in a company region which does something weird and I'm forgetting. Right, right. that's what I'm like. I was like, do I remember what it is? I don't. So let me check. No, company region is clear chaos. That's right. It says on the card. Is that all it is? Um, so there's no chaos, so that's it, I think. Open all, no all open all orders in that region and remove any unrest. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, no orders to open. Okay. Uh, and then it redirects to Bombay on um, star circle circle. There we go. Uh, it's company region, so it's just in the middle. All righty. Four events. That was not nearly as bad as it should have been. On to Parliament. Honorable Chairman Bot Bot. Or Prime mm -hmm. Minister Bot Bot. <clears throat> All right. Here we go. Sapoy recruitment. Let's see, you would be giving money <clears throat> to workshops. Uh, no matter what, if you were to choose this law. Uh, 
Are we going to keep drawing, or are we going to take it to vote? Um, probably going to keep drawing. I mean, yes, I'm going to keep drawing. Window tax repeal. <laughs> After you may purchase a luxury. Uh, no longer pay window taxes. How beautiful <clears throat> is that? That's a beautiful thing. Nope. <laughs> Army, spending. Army spending. Yeah, there we go. Ah, you can tax shares. <laughs> or ships. Tax the share. Yeah, I mean, we, we both know what you're going to do. Let's be real the here. One Garrick share. <laughs> well, and that's that's if it passes, right? Correct. Correct. And it's inclined to fail. Yeah, it does start at minus four. Okay. But this is this is good for the company. This is good for Garrick. <laughs> I will I will state I have six votes on my own. So what you do might you, as well pick this. Which one do you want? Oh, what are you just as lackey? Or her lackey? I don't know who you were being a lackey for, but somebody. Who's who's the lackey? You are. <laughs> Am I the lackey? I'll have you know I used to run a company. <laughs> yeah, look how that turned out for you. <laughs> didn't didn't turn out well. Um, I do like army spending. I'm not gonna lie, army right. spending is hilarious. I tell you what. I tell you what. What are you gonna tell us? If if you give me no. your two pound or less, I'll do army spending. Otherwise, I'm gonna do Sepoy recruitment. Sounds good. All right. Wait. Which one sounds good? <laughs> I'm not. I. I. I'm. I can fail or pass anything I need to. So go ahead and do whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just deploy recruitment. Okay. Uh, it starts at minus three. You need to choose a policy that gives a pound. Uh, it's going to go to uh, workshops. Uh, <laughs> just a question of which one. <laughs> the other one could have taxed Garrick though, and that would have been hilarious. Even though it's only one pound. I it's fine. I like how how John was trying to take a bribe from Lily to choose the law that was worse for her. I didn't realize I forgot. I forgot. You can I'm, take bad. I'm bad at bribing. I just I extorting. refuse to get bribed or extorted. <laughs> <laughs> I just will say no no matter what. All right. So we start at minus three. You got it. All right. Would you like to start the vote? So I I will nope. abstain. Okay. I'll abstain. Well, this is good for me, so I will put all six to four. Drew? Um, John, I can't believe you picked this one. This is too good for the company. <laughs> uh, Just the regiments, against. not the not the rest of the army. Well, but the point is, it reduces the company's expenses and doesn't benefit John. At all, or me at all. <laughs> I guess John and I are no longer really in bed together. Our bed broke no. and fell into the ocean. Yeah. <laughs> it definitely also fell into the ocean. <laughs> Garrick? I voted, voted again, so Garrick's up. Um, you can spend your two votes to go to fail it. Drew, did you use both your votes or just one? Both. Uh. I'll abstain. Why didn't? Why don't you? This is unless unless John wants to open up another round of voting. Well, but it passed, so. You can still open up another round of voting. <laughs> I'm not saying why'd you should go, why'd I'm you just saying you Why'd you abstain, Garrick? Because he wants it to pass, so he doesn't care. Yeah. It's, our, it's in the passing position. Yeah. All right. That's cool. I, I'm not going to get leader of the opposition if I vote against. I am fine with it passing. Uh, 
So, yeah. I didn't see a reason to vote. Okay, on to refresh. Wait, I get money, don't I? Uh, yeah, you get one. You know, the policy goes off. You get one pound per workshop. Woo! This is the most money I've ever made in a single round. I like it. Uh, yeah, I don't see anything else for upkeep. So, uh, on to the next round, starting with London season. Uh, attrition first. Oh, I lost the one I wanted to keep. As did I. Cool. The one I did not care about. <clears throat> Has everyone rolled attrition? Yep. Yep, yep. All right. Yep. Uh, I have one retirement, and I go first. Uh, does anyone else have any retirements? Lily has one. I do. We are very entangled, sir. What's in the display? Oof. I'll be right back. So I have a question. Sure. If you were to take Esther and the next London season display was all secret prestige cards, would you just discard one? I think so. Okay. Since you, cause, like, since you can't take it, I was yeah. wondering if you'd be able to discard one as part of like, your action. Uh, I think you would just not take anything. Because to discard, well, you almost need to take it first. No, I think as part of London season, you can choose to just discard instead of taking or something like that. Oh. I, I, I know that there's one card saying that you can just... Yeah, there it is. Ha-ha! I was right. Cole confirms. Yeah, Cole confirms. Cool. Okay, um... I don't think it's a... I think it's a rare situation if it would happen, but I figured yeah. I'd ask. Yeah. Hmm... I'm going to spend four to go here. Lily? I will also join you in that pile. <laughs> Okay, that's all the retirements. Uh, first choice goes to Power Order, as I recall. That's the new tiebreaker, isn't it? I believe so, yeah. Um, and in that regard, I have... I'm pretty sure you win the tie no matter what. Yeah, I've got five. I have, I have no power. Oh, wait, no. I've got no power. <laughs> okay. <back>. Okay. <laughs> um, in that case, I'm going to take... I'm reticent to take Esther, but I'm reticent to take either.
I don't want that castle. I think it's too early for it. Um... Yeah, I'll take him. Lily, what would you like? I want Esther. <laughs> Makes sense. Okay. That is our retirements. Uh, do, do, do. This card gets discarded. Put out one. Hey! <laughs> I killed it! I killed it! <laughs> Oh my goodness! <laughs> Freaking called it! That's incredible! Oh, that's amazing. That's so, it. so good. Oh my god. Uh, okay. Family phase. Uh, Lee, I already adjusted VPs. Um, family phase. I am going to... Uh... Wow. How friggin' funny is that? I'm gonna buy a workshop. John? I'm back in. Or wait, that's not. That's where I went to go. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good night, Cole. Do we move? <laughs> do we move this and then to add five to the treasury? Not yet. Not yet. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. not yet. Lily. Uh, I will also be buying a workshop. Why are we the same person? I don't know, but this is my plan all along, so you need to stop copying me, clearly. <laughs> Drew? Um, I think I just put in two officers. Okay, on to the firms phase. Would anyone like to start firms? Would anyone like to invest in firms? Would anyone like to purchase ships with their firm? Well, hang on. First of all, nope. Uh, hiring, John... hiring, hiring. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Mister Peed Ant. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be real, we're both pedants, <laughs> and we both enjoy it. That's true. And also, speaking of pedantry, these should not be here, Garrick. Oh, you're right. The person who handled the refresh phase. I, I handled half the refresh phase. I trusted y'all to participate. I didn't think y'all were going to starfish on me. <laughs> okay, there we go. Uh, allocate a decide trade region. We're not there yet, Lee. That's after we form firms or invest in firms and stuff. It's the second half of the firm phase. Let's be real. No one's forming a firm. Uh, because Lily already has one, and I guess she could decide to flip a workshop, but... Yeah, like, like people could invest. She's the only one that can do anything. Oh, no, you bought a workshop, so yeah. I guess whatever. But I'm taking the resounding silence to mean that Lee is right and we should just move on. <laughs> yes. All I right. Would say, yeah. All right. Uh, on to the strategy phase. Uh, Lily, determine where your firm is going to sail and how much of it you are going to spend to do so. Okay, so I'm only going up against the company. <laughs> Poor company. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, 
All decided? All decided. All right, hiring. Uh, we null out that debt and get a share. Yep. Uh, I'm the chairman because he votes for himself. He's the only choice. Yep. No, we don't. We don't get money mm. for for that. Yeah. You just null out the debt. It yeah. cancels the debt. That's the thing. So, so John is the chairman. Uh, okay. Holy Christ! Uh -oh. <laughs> oh yeah, it went into my hand. Okay, John, I have an idea. Um, Don't listen to him. I think we actually can make this company work. Uh, and also maybe screw over their firm. Wait, hold up. You <laughs> pitched a fit when I was the sole shareholder of the company, and now you're about to enable John to be the sole shareholder of the company. Yes, that's exactly correct. Because All right, uh, I, just, I, have no I wanted to ensure the, that there was a double standard and that this was no, personal. Double standard. And that this was personal and had nothing to do with the game state. It was completely personal. <laughs> <laughs> you have more points. We gotta we gotta find a way to turn that off. Somehow. Um Cold water uh, usually does the trick. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we can open this order eight. OK, so John, Lily already picked her sailing spot. Hopefully she picked south, although because it's more lucrative, but we'll see. Anyway, uh, we can open this order and then sail to eight regions effectively. Um, and specifically, we can open it with the army. Uh, so that is, we only need six more in shipping to get four temporary ships. And then we just put a boatload of money in the Madras presidency and roll like, I don't know, 12 dice or something like that. So that we get more successes than they're potentially up to seven dice that I don't know how much they bid, but we can significantly outbid them and we have the debt to do it. Or, and by that, I mean, you have the debt to do it. Um, in exchange, all I want is you to make me superintendent of trade in China, which then also will make more money for the company. Like, if you put money into shipping, I will put them all here so that you can then sail. And then I will sail out of the superintendent. And between all that, we should be able to get this show on the road. And if we can dive, deny them enough income, then their company or their firm might wither. A bit. Also, you're on mute, <laughs> John, this whole time. Oh, You've been on boy. mute for a long time. <laughs> well, I haven't been talking for a long time. I, I was just listening to, oh, okay, to okay. Drew. Um, Willingly? So, yeah, so you, missed, you missed nothing. Um, <sighs> the only thing I want is for you to um, split the bonus here. No way, because actually you're going to make more money than me. I mean, I get here. Let's map it out. So, if we do the full eight sale, the company's gonna get uh, nine, sixteen, uh, nineteen, twenty-five, and then I my guess is Lily sailed in the west, so she's gonna take these actually. So I should cut that down to uh, this will probably be a three, and this will be a one. So that's so twenty. This will be a two. So twenty-two. <laughs> You're right, Lee. When we're resorting to penny deals, it is getting serious. <laughs> <laughs> um. So so this sale is probably going to make like twenty-eight for the company. Is my guess. Um. And then if we also do this, it's going to make the company another. What is it? I forgot already. Sixteen. Or something like that. So the company is going to be like basically up here, effectively. And the expenses are only going to be, it was 21 last time. Plus, we're going to need to take like at least three debt to do it. So I don't know, call it like 25. So that's going to leave you with like at least 10 in dividends, <clears throat> plus your bonus from sailing from the Madras president. Um, 
So like really for this to work, you probably should pay me a third of the dividends that you squeeze out of this thing or something. I don't know. Actually, it probably should be reinvested back in the company so that this thing doesn't fail. <laughs> I mean, that's that's probably like that's kind of what I'm shooting for at this point. Yeah, is, but, but is the making is, the company succeed want, because yeah, the more exactly. the company succeed, the more difficult it is for their firm to keep up. Correct. So, and that I'm is not... also it's also my goal. But again, if if we execute this fully, then you're going to have like 15 in profit that you could siphon 100 percent of into dividends. So you, it's a way better deal for you. So all I'm asking is that you put me in. I'm if you put me in the position, I will do it. And uh, I want some of your dividends. Like you can give me. You don't have to give me half. Like I want a third of whatever you issue. Uh, I'm not gonna split the dividends with you. All right. I mean, I'll make that. I'll make that deal. In terms of. Uh... Making or I'll make that arrangement with you, but I think because I'm not I'm not gonna get I'm not gonna get all of it out of it. You know what I mean? Like I'm not getting fifteen out of it. I'm not taking all the dividends for myself. Yeah, that's why I only ask for a third. So you do six maybe or whatever you want and give me two of it or something like that. Like I don't you can decide how many dividends you want and I just want a small part of it. I don't even I'm not asking for half. But like I have all the power here, like you have, you're relying on me for shipping, and you're relying on whoever is the superintendent. And you got to promote somebody there. And the only options right. are <clears throat> all the other people. And Garrick and Lily <laughs> are definitely not going to do it. Well, I don't know why they wouldn't want to sail in China. Because it just gives you a ton of dividends. I mean, they would make four, and you'd make a lot more than that. So I'm, make, make I'm willing to make that swap with you. Because also remember... <laughs> <clears throat> this this president bonus is going to be eight pounds all by itself. If I put eight ships in mm -hmm. the south and you sail mm -hmm. everywhere, like I'm proposing a deal where you get filthy rich and I enable it and make a little bit of extra money off of the dividend. You're gonna you're gonna end up with way more money than me, which is why I'm asking for a little bit of the dividends. A third of the dividends. A third of the dividends. Or, I, I mean, I, I don't know. I guess we could split it up differently. You could give me your office holders bonus, but that is probably more than the money you'd give me with dividends. And you don't even have to commit to issuing any dividends. I mean, it's probably in your best interest, but I just want a third of whatever your dividends are. I have to, I have to, you're basically ob ob obligating me to paying out dividends instead of reinvesting it. No, no, that's what I just said. You don't even have to do dividends. <clears throat> if it, if we get to that point and it, it doesn't make any sense to do any dividends because it's better to reinvest, then just reinvest. So then what are you asking but for? If you're going to issue dividends, I want a third of them. But it's your choice whether you, di whether you issue them and how much you issue. He's negotiating a so stake by... of any potential payout. Yeah, exactly. So I, I'm not, I'm not a... asking you to commit anything. If I took zero dividends, you would get zero. Exactly. That's fine. I just want to make sure that's that's the terms that you're agreeing to. Yeah. Look, I think if this works, the company will have like about 15-ish pounds in profit after <clears throat> pay our expenses, which means I think it will probably make sense for you to issue like, I don't know, five pounds worth of dividends or, or something like that, like some small-ish amount, and then put you know eight to 10 back in the company. So like I'm kind of assuming that I might end up getting two pounds out of this. That's but fair. if but if like something <clears throat> and fails and we don't issue any, then that's fine. Like I let's I just, just call it two. Out. Let's just call it two pounds then. No, let's call it a third because we might make a lot of money. And if you issue <laughs> twelve dividends, then I want four pounds. I don't like Lee criticizing my trading. <laughs> I'm really <laughs> bad at trading in this game. I think I think the stream is evidence of that. <laughs> All streams that I've been on. I don't like feeling judged for my trading ability. <laughs> if it makes you feel better, we will calculate the one third for you. All right, great, perfect. I don't have to do the math. <laughs> no, you can and again, Lee. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Just take the key and just lock your lock the door behind you. <laughs> You'll probably need to get back in anyway. All right. Did, um, did y'all come to a decision? So, yeah.
So I'm going to take... Well, hang on. You got to hire first. Oh, shoot. Super. Oh, I got to hire you. Yeah. I mean, you could hire Garrick or Lily, but I, I doubt they will cooperate. <laughs> I don't know. I like money. I do like money as well. Uh, oh, wait. Really? No, uh, but I need, I need Drew to make this work. So, yeah, we, you and I need to. We need to get back into bed together. <laughs> I will promote. Our bed, bed sank into the ocean, but that doesn't mean we can't still stick together. <laughs> We're building a new bed. <laughs> there you go. Oh, boy. Oh, this game. Uh, this is weird. All right, Chairman. <laughs> Time for you to make your new bed. Uh, uh, I'm going to take... Two debt. I'm going to see what that looks like. Only two? Don't be a coward. I guess I could take I think that might, be all we, that might be all we need. So put six into shipping so that I can put eight ships into here for you. At minimum. Or, uh, I'm sorry. I put four ships into there. But that allows you to sail to eight regions is what I meant. Yeah. So now there will be enough for eight. Correct. And then, I and mean, then we the need other more, thing yeah, is we need more than that. To compete with Lily's firm, she has seven pounds. In the off chance that she spent all of it, I don't know. Probably you want ten in there. Yeah, yeah. Take another debt and see where that gets us. You could put it all in there for twelve dice. Say what? Uh, oh, just put all put all nine there. Yeah, which gets to 12 dice in Madras, which should pretty well guarantee that the company sails before their firm. Yeah, let's do it. This is fun. Because I just don't see what else we would really do with the money. <laughs> I, I feel like we're in tussling and new territory. At least I am. Wait, you've never All been right. in Drew's bed before? <laughs> oh, shoot. Wait, 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 John. Oh, crap. Right. Hang on. Um... Garrick can sabotage this by transferring two ships out of the south. Seas. No takesy backsies. <laughs> probably want nothing's <laughs> happened yet. We probably want four more pounds in shipping. I'm gonna have to go to the court of directors and see if I can get another debt. <laughs> <laughs> what they say? It's all mine. Uh, John, would you say that you are the Senate? <laughs> I am I am the Senate. I am oh I okay, you're getting me to fall into a movie reference that I don't know. So I apologize <laughs> for falling. Oh, from Star Wars. Donald and y'all give and y'all give me shit. Come on. <laughs> you're killing me, John. <laughs> yeah, I don't watch Star Wars. Oh no, I have to get out of bed with you really immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Garrick, what, what do I need to do to get in bed with you instead? You like Star Wars, right? No, I'm a Star Trek guy, remember? I don't like Star Wars. Uh, <laughs> dang it. I, I mean, quit. I know the references. I'm Actually, I, I love the heck out of like the making of documentaries or the prequel trilogy because like the making of those movies is so fascinating. Uh, the movies are yeah, shite, really but, but yep, yeah. Yep. Uh, okay, yeah, and then one more in Madras. That makes sense. Lily, do you like Star Trek more than Star Wars? Yes. Ugh, I knew it. <laughs> Y'all are terrible. To be Director fair, he brainwashed me. I, 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 you know, I can't help having good taste. Uh, so Governor General is up. <laughs> it's going to have uh, one, two, three, four, six dice by what I count. Yep. Let's get rolling. Oh, oh, that's a success. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, we're going to. Hmm, what's the right play? Drew, are you going to be buying my ship, fitting my ship? Oh gosh, that's right. And your own. I'll make a ship. Remove a die. Let's do it again. Ooh, no 
no success. Uh, as I recall, a fail places an unrest. Is that a thing? Mm -hmm. Where the heck does that it go if right. I'm governor general, though? Let me confirm that I place an unrest and then let me figure out where the heck it goes. Yeah, if the check did not succeed, I had none arrest. That's for normal governors. Governor General. Can we get Lee back in here? <laughs> or ban. Unbanned. <laughs> it doesn't say. Maybe it doesn't place unrest for failing. Yeah, I don't see anything about taking unrest for a failed roll. Uh, okay, that's weird. Um... Oh, it just has one on the tax action. Will the each tax action will always place an unrest? Actually, yeah, in I, each company. Is but it that's each? Not well. That's let's see. Yeah, to all of them. Oh, oh, I don't want this. That's shit. for tax. That's that's the special tax. Yeah, I oh. want to have used special tax uh, for my first success. So we're we're a hundred percent doing this. Play, no take some axes. Nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and then that gives, uh, something happens or... technically after that eight to the Carrick. company. Stop complaining. <laughs> Balance or divided among the president's treasuries in any fashion. Uh, that's a success. We're going to tax again. Everything's fine, guys. Um, so unrest doesn't really sound great. It is not great. It adds to the strength of Oof. any rebellions. That's a fail. Let's try one more. I think Garrick is uh, trying to wreck the company. Yeah, but that's okay. Oof! <laughs> he just got fired. I just got <laughs> fired for it. <laughs> Okay, that is that. Uh, on to... Oh, I don't get to do my transfers now. That sucks. Yep, that is correct. Darn, I was going to take uh, them out of China. Um, that is correct. That is indeed correct. Okay, I will... Um, that actually gives us a lot of flexibility. Oh, I got two pounds so... for that. Yeah, I will fit my ship. That's unfortunate. Into the South Sea. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. And I think we're good. Are you not fitting my ship? Oh, you have a ship to fit. Great. Yeah, I'll fit your ship too. Um, Jeez. That actually it's like pulling teeth with this guy. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> you make a better bed mate than a ship mate. That's for sure. <laughs> I just forgot the ship, but yeah, of course I'll fit your ship. See, he doesn't even consider you, remember you when he's in bed with you. How how terrible is that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's eight there. Um, I think buying another ship just hurts us, so I think that's all we do for now. The army can't. The army can only open orders in regions that are company, company controlled controls. or a home region. Or a home region, yeah. Yep. So yeah, opening these orders doesn't really make any sense because we can't access them, and none of the other ones can be open. So, um, yeah, I think I'll just hang on to the two. Okay, the commander two. in chief. Okay, so um, now the big problem is uh, rebellions, of which there will be one in Bombay, have plus two strength. So. Uh, Oh, shoot. You know what? That actually means we probably might not 
be able to afford opening this, John, which saves us some money. Yeah, I'm going to... Oh, crap. No, I have to spend down to two. You got to spend. Um, can I... This could get upgraded to a company ship, though. No, it couldn't. I can't do math. <laughs> oh, but no, obviously I'll send it to China. Okay, so Bombay is the big problem. We'll send two there for now. That is a good point, head desk uh, dev. Opening orders does remove unrest. That's why it's called oh, That's why it's called impose order now in the rule book. Oh. Okay. And it, I assume it open it removes unrest in the region that you opened orders in. Yes. Hmm. Okay. Well, so that's definitely worth it in Madras. Which means I should put a ship back. No, actually I should just spend these two on yet another ship. Uh okay, so this will most likely be string zero. If the elephant even gets there. This is gonna be four on defense. Uh, I think it only goes up to three, so that's probably enough there. Bengal is a problem, so we're going to yeah, do we... a transfer of two. Oh, shoot, no, I got to... Hmm. There's so much balancing to do here. Uh... I think it's got to be three and three. Because we're going to try and open orders in Madras and also defend it. Yeah, I think that's the best we can do for now. So that's what I'll do. Uh, Army of Bombay does nothing. Is there any uh, argument for not opening that order in order to, main to maintain the defense? Um... That's a good point. If I spend two officers and succeed, it's a net neutral other than opening this extra order. Um, and I'm not going to roll only one die to try and open. So realistically, it's kind of dumb to even bother trying. I mean, that $4 probably is... Yeah, really, it would just net us $4, which we don't really need that much. <clears throat> Unless, unless you see the value of the of the unrest coming off the board, like that's part of why we wanted to do it. Well, doesn't it come off anyway if there's a failed rebellion, or is it a successful rebellion where the unrest comes off? Uh, uh I don't remember. Let me see. I remember what you're talking about. I just don't remember what it when it is. Um. If the rebellion failed, remove all unrest in the attacker's region, and the commander associated with the region should take a trophy. Okay. <laughs> um, well, John, are you willing to spend three on these mercenaries and still roll ten dice to sail? Hmm... Yeah, that sounds reasonable. You shouldn't actually be okay. Banley. I can see you. Then I will leave it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true, Lee. It is worth some money, but um, it feels like a lot of risk because I have so much tro. I have five trophies, um, so there's a lot. Wait, of did did Lee think that that we couldn't? I think Lee was concerned <laughs> because we didn't respond. We were replying to him. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I think that is that is good then. Um, this is enough to hopefully ideal, ideally defend both of these. It, we've roughly covered all of our bases and we'll be really good you, at covering none of them. Do you need the uh, Nizam? Um, well, we, we can't do that until this. Oh, no, wait. Actually, I guess... <clears throat> yeah, man, what am I doing? The military affairs, everything in military affairs happens now. I always forget because commander in chief. 
Um, yeah, let's hire Nizam now and put him in draft. Oh, that's right. Does it all happen with Commander Chief's timing? I yeah, I think everything happens with this. I do know, remember that being a thing. Interesting. Uh, okay, so that's it for me. I'm not attacking anywhere or doing anything, sadly. Um, so Lily. No, it says on the card during the president's turns, this office will act as the commander of the Associated Army. Oh, okay. All right. Well, this can. <clears throat> we're gonna leave it there, but it could. I guess it technically is back. Okay. Over here until we get there. But anyway, um, Bombay Army does nothing. Lily. Uh, Lily. Is the Bombay president nope. sailing? Nope. All right. Is a firm revealing? Is the firm in the west. Yes, yes it is. That is. I'm roll five dice. Oh, oh, oh my God. <laughs> Wow. Okay. Uh, where would you like to go? There's four. Where else would you like to? Uh, four, three, and six. Yeah, the best route is this. Just making sure. So. Makes sense. Yeah, it was a squeaker. And I... Okay. Uh, and you increase your value uh, okay. a step uh, up to the debt for each five that you add. So. So two. It would go higher, up but up to the debt. Yep. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. I did not realize it was Which, up to the debt. Which, that would have been a reason to have invested. Um, okay, so now it is the Madras army. Um, so yeah, actually, I guess we will go after the unrest. Wait. Yeah, we did end up giving you eight ships, so we actually need to open this order. So we're going to impose order in Madras. Uh, we should leave... Let's see, that's five... Wait a minute, wait, wait. Yeah, what, are, what are we waiting about? Never, never mind. I'm a liar. Okay. Uh, mm, yeah, we're going to roll four dice to attempts to quell, uh, to impose order in Madras. Nothing could possibly go wrong. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god how does this game do it <laughs> uh, god damn it <laughs> you will be remembered fondly <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh, god shit uh okay so that's that um that's so freaking now funny. on to <laughs> john <laughs> i guess you no longer need to roll 10 <clears throat> dice but you should probably roll like six <laughs> just to <laughs> make sure this company doesn't sink um uh real quick just real quick five. however much oh, you yeah. want <laughs> real quick if the commander-in-chief rolls a catastrophic failure the office is vacated like any other office and any officers and regiments used to take the action must check to see if they are eliminated what they roll death checks yes they do <laughs> what is killing them <laughs> failure <laughs> Failure. Failure is killing them. <laughs> they need to be named, renamed to retirement. And so this is not allowed to defend. What? You're no longer allowed to defend. Well, yeah, I guess they got used. No, no, no. Period. Like, this army? These. If the office is vacant, no further defense no. may be attempted during events in India. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, I definitely would not have bothered doing that in that case. Oh, well. Well, why so, did like, you roll even, catastrophic even failure? These two yeah, even those guys. Is that. Yeah, nothing defends. Oh, wow. <clears throat> yeah, that's good to know. I would definitely have not even bothered rolling. All that's right. Gonna suck. Honestly, four dice? That's, that's a safish roll. Like, that was... No, there's still a small chance. And because I have so much... Like, I, my game's over now. Yeah. I have so many trophies that are guaranteed to be lost now, pretty much. True. Uh, because I can't defend with this army. Like, I wouldn't have taken that risk. Wouldn't have been worth it. Even Actually, are you, I'm only getting three are you liable left. for that? Because you're not the commander-in-chief anymore. Oh, oh, that is a great point. Hmm. Uh, the regiment needs to roll as well, by the way. Oh, does it? OK. 
Yep. Cool. Well, I will roll for the regiment. It's also not dead. Okay. But now I roll low. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to roll. So I, I'm going to have to roll. Is it really? Dice. No, it's more than 1% for four dice. Spawn the chart. So it's a. Uh, yep, I'm one, spawning the chart. Two, three. I'm going to have to. It's the digital artifact. I'm going to have to pay a penalty of three. Oh, shit. You're right. It is 1%. Wow, <laughs> that's, that's really sad. Congratulations, okay, dude. Yeah, I was. I I was very incredibly unlucky that time. Yeah, that was incredible luck. <laughs> Am I correct that um I have to lose I have a penalty of three dice because I'm going into one, two, three different regions? Um that's right. We didn't calculate that. That's oh y'all right. didn't okay. calculate well, I'm gonna that? I'm gonna spend eight to get five dice. Yeah. You're not gonna go all out? Why? Yeah, I mean uh, you have a Less than one chance. You have a thirteen percent chance of failure. Thirteen? It's that high? Ca yeah. Catastrophic of just of not succeeding is thirteen percent chance. <clears throat> if That's you go up thick. to six dice, it goes down to nine percent. I love the odds curve in this game, which incidentally is similar to the odds curve in Oath. It's really it degrades pretty quickly in a cool way. There you go. Nice. <clears> Odd. <throat> So this gets. Oh look, a pound. And then these get halved. Yeah, they. Uh, uh, yeah, just yes. you know, leave it face up. Well, but yeah, they're Garricks. Oh. It's just the value of the space is halved. So you're getting. Yeah, so there's uh, twelve, uh, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, um, twenty-four. Is what I count. <clears throat> oh yeah, John's gonna be rich. What'd you get? I got nineteen. Three. Nineteen. Five, yeah. Six. So there's seven and five for twelve. Then a three is Nine. is fifteen. Fifteen, and then sixteen because it's rounded down. Yep. And then I get eighteen because that's rounded down. And then 18 plus 6. Oh, this one's not halved. That's what it is. Um, no, we... Oh, I, we go up there, too. <clears throat> we, go oh. to, we hit both of these orders. Well, I'm blaming John so on that for not placing the Garrick. And, yeah, then so I, and then I thought this one was halved. Yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, we, we actually have one more boat, but we can't get anywhere else, so... Okay. Okay, so seven pounds, John. Did you take your seven pounds for the office holders bonus? Um and then the company is now at forty. Okay. On um, to So the Army of Bengal can't do anything. President so of Bengal can't do anything. Superintendent of Trade. Superintendent will attempt to roll um five dice. <laughs> Don't you dare. <laughs> you know, right? <laughs> there it is. Um, so that is now um, 20. So it's, uh, it's 4H, right? Yeah. 2, 3, uh, Where's four. the 20th? Oh, shoot. I didn't. Yeah, that's right. This is not a company region. Yeah, you only yeah, get 16. Yeah, yeah. So, so it's, it's still 16. It's only 16. Yeah. Um, and then I only get 4 pounds. Yes. Five. Yes. And then we go on to bonuses. Bonuses, indeed. Everyone got your bonuses? <clears throat> yep. Lily? Mm, yep. All right. Revenue and expenses for the private firm. So you have an expense of four, which you can pay from either treasury. And then you can pay dividends if you so desire. Uh, and important note, if the company fails and the game ends, any special retire any any private firm dividends can be used for special retirements, even with a company failure. Okay. Um, so I'm talking about, you know, these the special payout that I talked about last round. Do I would I have to like dedicate that to the thing? Yes, you would only the funds that you pay out this round 
uh, in dividends go to this special holding. Uh, and if you don't use them during the next London season, then they go to your treasury. But for the purpose of the special retirement, ah. for the purpose of the special retirement, either at the end of the game or in London season from here, uh, you can only use <clears throat> those firms, those funds. Okay. Um, and would it have to be in a set of two as well, since that's how that yes, works? Yes, you are still forced to pay out in increments of two, because there are each of us. I have to get even share of everything you pay out. <clears throat> um, sorry, I'm trying to think. You basically have to take a. You basically have to decide if you think the company is failing this turn. Just ask Garrick, he'll tell you. <laughs> yeah, head desk dev. Uh, <clears throat> it maybe takes two crises? Well, actually... Yeah. Yeah, no, no, yeah. It, nobody defends. Yeah, nobody defends, so it'll take two... It only no, it actually, only sorry. No, it, no it's... Uh, it takes one. It takes one because... we're because... going to lose one from standing. No, we're, no, no, oh, no. The standing's probably fine, but we're going to trigger... A single one will trigger rebellion for every region, and we can't defend. So we will well, we we're definitely... Gonna have... We're going to have less than expectations after expenses. No, Lily, this is wrapped around. They're at 65. Oh! Oh. In my expenses, there's 25 left over. Gotcha. I see. Huh. Okay. But yeah. I uh, 31 expenses, and we still have 25. <laughs> got it. It's, a, it's already paid. Uh, but as, <clears throat> as Head Desk Dev is, is confirming, the, the, a single crisis event will kill the company because we will trigger it in every single unrest region, not just the elephant region. Oh. Um, yeah, because yeah, it does max out now at three. When did that change? It used to only, you, you used to only go down by two, even if you lost all your regions. Yeah, I, I don't know when that was added cool, actually. back. Oh. I have played Greece and it is so good, Justin. I am enamored by that game. Uh, <laughs> yes, it is so good. So, so good. So, 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 I, so good. I think I want to put eight over here. So you're going to pay out eight of the 11 you had? Yeah. Because that would give four to each of us, remember? Oh, right. I forgot you get money. I yes. hate it. I get equal share. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I can do anything to catch up with you. Eric mooching off all you, your hard work. You have three workshops. Yeah, you've got one in all of the prestige or power. I do have a lot of power. I have like no no power. So that's I, the problem. So. Yeah, our position's actually really close. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know they're equal. Uh, it's just it's just the power that's making me nervous. But yeah, I think this is what I want to do. So you're going to do just the four then? Eight total? Yeah. Four across each eight, of us? Eight total. Yeah. All right, hold on. Let me fix mine. Okay. Um, company already paid its uh, expenses. Okay. Uh, and, and are you paying out? <laughs> so yeah i don't know if there's any reason to pay out like because i can't retire it? with it well yeah but having the money in the bank is now is important because you might retire with it now like retirements are coming up immediately as long as the company survives the events phase so you want <clears throat> maybe more like if the company survives the events phase yeah i that's don't think said. the company's gonna survive just if the company survives the event phase well no because like again it's possible that we don't roll a crisis. All we need to do is not roll a crisis. Now, that's highly variable. But, you know, odds are decent that the company survives. So you want to pay out now. I don't know that the odds are decent, but... Well, there's a deck um... of 16, and I feel like there's about four or five crises in there. Or something, I think, I think right? more like five, maybe six. 
five, six. Yeah. Way, I think there's like one, one plus three, one, a couple plus zeros, a couple plus ones, and like a plus we've two or two. We've drawn two of them. We've drawn two of them already. So actually, I think you're right. There's like five or six. So basically, there's three, maybe four crises left in a deck of 16. The odds are actually pretty good. But like John, if the game ends, then the game is just going to end, and it doesn't matter. I don't see any reason why you would try and not pay out. So do I just pay uh pay out at all? Pay it all out? Oh well, that. I mean, it seems like you should. We should set up to do this again. <laughs> I mean, it it makes you eight, seven, or eight <clears throat> per turn. It's really good for you. In the same way, Lily was just gambling when the company was going to fail. Now you need to gamble when the company is going to fail and determine payouts yeah. based on that. I I don't think he needs to gamble. He can he can he's if twenty five to work with. If he, he can thinks put if he thinks it's going to fail next turn, in here. if he's going to fail next turn, he should pay out as much as he can so he can afford a twenty dollar prize. If he doesn't think it's going to fail next turn, if he thinks he can keep it going, then the longer he's money in the company, the more it can continue to do that. <clears throat> So I can pay out 12, give you three, Actually, I keep no, nine, I you have... Can, you can pay out everything because there's still debt space left. And all the company needs is probably eight in here and two in well, here. Well, I don't need to, exactly I don't need to pay it all out. I only need to pay out 12. I give you three, I take no, you, nine. You could pay out 25 if you wanted. But why? Like, so, I'm so kind of, a... I'm, he I'm hedging my bets either way. So if the company fails, because I mean, you... it doesn't matter. <laughs> but if the company doesn't fail, retire, then there's still money. If you can I retire both of these guys, I can't which, retire like, anybody because the company's going to fail. Okay, but you can't. If the company fails, then the game is over and we both lost, and that's fine. Right. But if it doesn't fail, which is our only path to victory, and that's totally up to the dice. So you might as well prep for the path to doing something good. So that's what I'm saying. Is if I fail, and if you I retire take both 12, of these guys. You want as much money as possible. So what I'm saying is if I take 12, I give you three, I take nine, that gives me 20, which means if I get to retirement, I get to go there. Right. And what I'm saying is if you happen to retire both of them. Oh, there's two of them. Basically, yeah. yeah <clears throat> if you retire both of them, then you could retire to a 20 plus whatever is left over, like a 20 and I don't know, an eight maybe. Is there enough to get you there? Yeah, but I mean. It'd be a 20 a and a four probably based on what's left. Here's what I'm going to do. Because the game's going to end anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm going to take all 25. <laughs> yeah, I think that makes the most sense. And I'm going to back out of our deal. I'm not going to give you anything. <laughs> oh, John, you're so <laughs> terrible. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Give me... Uh... Give me your consent for nepotism. What? No. And I'll, and I'll okay. give you six. I'll give I'll you six. Give you... What the heck? The most expensive consent for nepotism ever. <laughs> uh, I want eight, John. You gotta, you gotta uphold your deal, or I'm never gonna eight? trust you again. <laughs> oh, whatever. Is, you did twenty-five. I'll even round down, so call it twenty-four, because that's an easy round number. Eight is a third of twenty-four. <laughs> so that I have what? Uh, I just want you to hold uh, up our market. 28, I'll have 28. John, deny him everything. Because if he no. retires, he'll be able to afford the $20 retirement. <clears throat> you don't want that competition. Garrick, Garrick you know that this doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't George matter Wallace until it does. <laughs> all right. Are you all done? Events all in done. India. Events in India. Roll John, die, John, roll the die. This is... For all the turkey. <laughs> yes! <laughs> all right, who would like to do the honors? Oh. Turmoil in Turmoil. Bombay. Turmoil. Oh, where's Bombay? Oh, there's the crisis. Oh, there's the there crisis. it is. <laughs> all right. Company loses regions, it fails. Wait, wait, hang on, also, we were all the way up here, technically. <laughs> okay, and you Mine lose- I paid out. And, I paid more out. Than 10 in dividends. And you lose four regions. That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh my God. Okay, so 
Is it? Uh, all right, whatever. Are you sure none of these defend by themselves? I, just Drew, I can energy. read you the sentence again if you so desire. No, if the not office not is vacant, which mean, means it's empty, no further defense may be attempted during events in India. Yep, yep. That is true. <laughs> That's amazing. You know what condescending means? It means when somebody talks down to you. <laughs> um, I don't believe you. Can you please go look that up and read me the definition? Um, all right. End game. You have the internet. We're going to score the court. John loses 2 BP. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we award for power. Uh, who has the most power? I have two. I have five. I have five. I believe. Um, yeah, I have five. Pretty sure I have zero. All right, so we're so tied. Eric and I split six VP. Uh, Four point. No, we're on turn six. On round three. We're on turn six. No. Yes. Because. Okay. The marker started here. That is we're intentional. Two. That is intentional, Drew. This. That's. This is. A, this is a design choice. That's why they start on these turns. It's to help balance the firm VP and stuff. Hmm. Interesting. So how many do you get? We're splitting four? the the four and two, so we each get. I thought three. you yeah. get the. I thought you both get the second place value, which would be two. No, it's just like Pamir scoring you uh, split. <clears throat> I just read it. You today. add them up and split it fifty fifty. I'll well, confirm. That's changed. I'll confirm. Scrolling up, scrolling up. Uh, do do do. If there's a tie for first, all tied players receive the amount associated with second place. Hey, look at that! You were right, John. I'm glad you mm -hmm. said something. One, two. Uh, okay. Final retirement. Uh, Lily, I assume you and I both just retire somebody to the force space. Yep. We each get Add two to the people. pile! <laughs> uh, hidden interests. Does anyone have any hidden interests? John? John has one. The most promises <laughs> belonging to other players. <laughs> Three points. <laughs> I love it. Love it. Uh, That's why it was worth eight to me. Makes sense. Uh, and then Lily and I score workshops. Lily gets three, I get one. Perfect. One, two, three. And we are tied. My plan all along, 100%. I was, now who has the most power? Yeah, I was very confused. What's the tiebreaker? Power. Is yeah, it? I know. Yeah, most power. I believe so. So it goes to me. Oh, yeah, that, that's right. Wow. That was the most, that was the most fun we've had. That was, that was a that was hilarious the most fun. game. That was a hilarious game. That was an awesome I game, Lee. Uh, yeah. I, I do feel like uh, when it comes to firms, if one person starts a firm, like making another firm is really the only counter. They definitely are designed to compete with each other, uh, in addition to competing yeah. with the company. Yeah. I think the company, well, yeah. I think the company could pretty effectively have competed with a firm uh, if we weren't trying, like if, it, if there were multiple people, if there's one person doing a firm and then mostly everyone else is still in the company, it could have probably figured a way out. Yeah, like, I don't. All it's gonna do is cover all the C zones and sail first, and that's really rough. Yeah, I didn't. Terms. I didn't think the the company was like doomed on turn one or anything until like everybody pulled out their stake and immediately set up a hostile position to the company, uh, and then I felt like the company was doomed, and I was happy to get out and and help doom it. Well, what's funny is actually the company is not doomed uh, other than this one catastrophic 1% roll. Because if I'd been able to defend, I think this company would have sailed all the way to turn 8 and succeeded, probably. Like, I think next round, everyone was going to have to spend their family actions to get back in. It, um... Because, <laughs> it, like, literally with two sales, 
rolling a lot of dice. So like these two were probably not going to fail ever. Uh, we made how far did I get? We made fifty six. We were up here. We made fifty six um, in revenue and had twenty five left over. Like are this you, company was doing great. Are you including the money I gave you for taxing? Oh, I gave that's you, true. I gave you, that's 16, right. you 16, sixteen in taxing. That's that's a good yes. point. But still, it made it made forty all by itself. <clears throat> yeah, um, yeah, which is more than enough to keep it surviving for two more turns. Because apparently 1813 only has four turns. Am I reading that right? Yeah, that's correct. That's correct. It's an intentional yeah. choice. No, it I, I makes sense. I like it. Yeah. Um, so before people uh, start leaving the yeah, stream, this, this would have been we, a need to, we need to get an up, uprising, a cry out, whatever, for us taking a full Saturday and playing the full campaign. <laughs> we have to do it. We need, we need to raise <laughs> the demand. We need pitchforks. Out in the streets. We have to do it demanding, and then fail the company the turn two. <laughs> turn two. <laughs> Everybody's taking days off work to watch this big marathon and we fail it in 20 minutes. I mean, we could do a campaign pretty easily across two Wednesdays, I feel like. Uh, I want to do it in a full sitting. I, th I, want, I want the commitment to be there. <laughs> what is this hidden interest? Which one is it? Gain one power per piece. Oh, oh cool. my god! That would have been awesome for me. That would have been. That's amazing. That is amazing. <laughs> anyway, I mean, yeah, we'll your... have <laughs> we'll have to see about organizing that that full day game. Um, I, I want in. greatest card in the deck. I believe it. Lee. If we want that to happen, it probably needs to happen on two Wednesdays because it's gonna be hard to get a full Saturday for people. Uh, for trying. you, Drew. I'd be down. <laughs> for you, probably. <laughs> That's true. All y'all are unemployed nerds or something. <laughs> I don't know what you guys do with your life. We don't have children. That's 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 really enough. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. <laughs> Fair point. I have children, but John has children. What do you do on Saturdays? Get out of the house uh... any way that I can. <laughs> Go into the office to work, quote unquote, <laughs> on this project for the office called uh, John. Company. company. <laughs> you will quit work, Lee. <laughs> Where do you work? I work at a company called John Company. <laughs> I'm going into the company. <laughs> Sorry, honey. It's going to be all day Saturday. <laughs> all right. On that note, let something me call about, the stream. Something about opium. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> it's a foreign relations gig. Uh, <laughs> working for the government. All right. Thanks, everyone, for playing. <laughs> Thanks, everyone, for watching. We'll be back with more John Company at some point. Uh, and certainly more Whirly Games next <clears throat> Whirly Wednesday. I know some people were asking us to circle back to PAX Premier 2nd Edition, so that might be something yeah. on the docket. Uh, other than that, we have the second half, uh, or maybe the second third, of our Pendragon game this Friday. Uh, Vast tomorrow, and then maybe something else uh, before Spotter Sunday. We'll see. We're, and, you know, trying for Spotter Sunday again, it keeps not happening. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and we will catch you next time.